Number 47, A Wayback Adventure, Alexander Graham Bell and the Invention of the Telephone. Written by Beepa Amet. Illustrated by Beepa Amet. Beepa was at home working on his next great story when the phone rang. Hello, this is Beepa. Hi, Beepa. This is Randy. Hey, what are you doing right now? Well, I'm working on a new... No, Beepa. I mean right now. Well, I don't know. Talking on my phone? That's it, Beepa. Talking on your phone. Ever wonder why the phone was invented and by whom? Oh, not really, said Beepa. Does the name Alexander Graham... Oh, the guy that invented the Graham Cracker? No, 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 Beepa. That was Sylvester Graham. I'm talking about Alexander Graham Bell, inventor of the telephone, among other things. What a great invention. You and I use it all the time, and so do the Ruta babies. So, what do you say, Beepa? Would you like to go back in time and see just what Alexander Graham Bell was up to? You bet! Can we go tomorrow morning, though? I want to make sure my cell phone's fully charged for this trip. Beepa's cell phone. Oh, a cobra. The next morning, Beepa was ready to watch history being made once again. Randy wasn't quite ready to leave. Randy wanted to give Beepa a little background of the inventor, Alexander Graham Bell, before they left. <clears throat> Alexander Graham Bell, inventor as a child. Randy began, Alexander was born in Scotland, 1847. His mother was deaf. His father taught deaf people to speak, and so did Alex once he grew up. Alex met and later married one of his students who was deaf. Alex was determined to help deaf people in some way or another. Now, leading up to Alex's invention, Samuel Morris invented the practical telegraph. Over a set of wires, a message could be sent from coast to coast. But the message was not spoken. The message was sent by a series of dots and dashes. The telegraph replaced the Pony Express. Oh my, dots and dashes. Yeah, Randy, when I was in the Boy Scouts, we had to learn Morse code. Although much quicker than the Pony Express, it took lots and lots of wires to connect the people. It also took someone trained to send and receive the messages, but it was still dots and dashes. Back in eight, back in 1667, rather Hook, Robert Hook invented the string telephone, just like the string and cans kids use today. Back then, it was a big deal. Not too practical, but people figured out that sound waves could travel through the string vibrate the bell at the other end to make sounds. This may have been where Alex came up with his idea that electric waves could somehow produce sounds over a wire. This is a picture of Alex's first idea of a telephone. Okay, okay, Randy, but when are we going to see this great invention come to life? Sometime this week? asked Beepo. How about now? Set the Wayback Machine to March 10 March, 1876, Boston, Massachusetts. All set. Here we go.
Just like that, Randy and Beepo were in Mr. Bill's laboratory. Assisting Mr. Bill was Mr. Watson. Beepa took a double take at the picture hanging on the wall. Oh, they look familiar. They were getting ready to demonstrate the telephone to a group of fellow scientists. Alex wanted to make sure that everything would go as planned and told Watson to go in the other room and try the telephone one more time. With Watson in place, Alexander attempted to make the connection. Ahoy, Watson, can you hear me? Hey, who turned off the lights? Just a minute, let me turn on my flashlight. Ah, I think I found the problem. This ought to do it. Then from the other room, Mr. Watson came out and said, I heard you fine, sir, but the lights went out. But I did hear you. We have done it. It works. Randy, what's that you have in your hand? asked Alexander. No time to explain, said Randy. We'll be late for the demonstration. Oh, oh. what's Randy have in his hand? With no time to waste, everyone hurried over to the amphitheater to put on this very important demonstration. Can you hear me now? Yes, he could hear him. And that's how the telephone came into being. Alexander came up with many other inventions, but we don't have time to go over them now. What do you think, Watson? A telephone flashlight and a music player all in one. I'll call it a bee pad. This guy's nuts. The end. To find out more about Alexander Graham Bell, ask your librarian.